Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 1 over 2 to the power x is equal to x to the power 1 over 2. We need to find all possible values of x. According to this property of exponents, a over b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n over b to the power n. We can write this 1 over 2 to the power x as 1 to the power x over 2 to the power x is equal to x to the power 1 over 2. Now this 1 to the power x 1 to the power x is equal to 1. So we replace this 1 to the power x with 1 divided by 2 to the power x is equal to x to the power 1 over 2. 2. Now from here we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to the power x. At left side we multiply by 2 to the power x. And this 2 to the power x will be cancelled with this 2 to the power x. And at the left side left 1 is equal to x to the power 1 over 2 times 2 to the power x. Now from here we take a square of both sides. 1 squared is equal to x to the power 1 over 2 times 2 to the power x whole squared. Next 1 squared is 1 is equal to according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 1 over 2 by this 2 and we multiply this power x by this 2. Like this x to the power 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 to the power x times 2. Next 1 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left x times 2 to the power x times 2 2 x. Now we write this x times 2 to the power 2 x at the left side and this one at the right side. x times 2 to the power 2 x is equal to 1. Now we want to use here Lambert W function that is W function of A times E to the power A is equal to A. To use the Lambert W function here we must have same expression here and same expression here. As you can see in this Lambert W function we have same expression here A and we have same expression here A. But for now here we have 2x and here we have only x. To make this x the same as this 2x, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2. Left side we multiply by 2. So 2 times x, 2x times 2 to the power 2x is equal to 1 times 2, 2. Now we have same expression here. 2x and we have same expression here 2x. But to use the Lambert W function we must have e in place of this 2. As you can see in this Lambert W function we have e here. So to bring e in place of this 2 we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property e to the power ln of 2 is equal to 2. So we replace this 2, we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2. Like this 2x times we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2. e to the power ln of 2 whole to the power this power 2x is equal to 2. Next, 2x times, according to this property of exponents, 
a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power ln of 2 by this power 2x. So e to the power ln of 2 times 2x 2x times ln of 2 is equal to 2. Now to use the Lambert W function we must have same expression here we must have same expression here but for now here we have 2x times ln of 2 and here we have only 2x to make this 2x same as this 2x times ln of 2 we multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 2 at left side we multiply by ln of 2 so ln of 2 times 2x 2 x times ln of 2 times e to the power 2x times ln of 2 is equal to 2 times ln of 2. Now we have same expression here 2x times ln of 2 and we have same power of e here 2x times ln of 2. We can use the Lambert W function on the left side, but we want to use the Lambert W function on the right side too. So first let us make this right side such that we can use the Lambert W function at this side too. To use the Lambert W function here we must have E in this expression. So to bring E in this expression we use this nature log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a. According to this property e to the power ln of 2 is equal to 2. So we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2. Left side will remain same 2x times ln of 2 times e to the power 2x times ln of 2 is equal to we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2 e to the power ln of 2 times this ln of 2 ln of 2 next 2x times ln of 2 times e to the power 2x times ln of 2 is equal to now we change the position of this ln of 2 we write this ln of 2 first and then this e to the power ln of 2 ln of 2 times e to the power ln of 2 now on both sides we have same expression here 2x times ln of 2 and we have same power of e here 2x times ln of 2. At the right side we have same expression here ln of 2 and we have same power of e here ln of 2. So we can use the Lambert W function here that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. So from here we apply Lambert W function on both sides. W function of 2x times ln of 2 times e to the power 2x times ln of 2 is equal to w function of ln of 2 times e to the power ln of now w function of this 2x times ln of 2 times e to the power 2x times ln of 2 is equal to this 2x times ln of 2 2x times ln of 2 is equal to w function of ln of 2 times e to the power ln of 2 is equal to ln of 2. So at the right side left ln of 2. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by ln of 2. At right side we divide by ln of 2. So this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 
and this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and here left 1. So this 2x 2x is equal to 1 and we divide both sides by 2 this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and we get the value of x is equal to 1 over 2. So this is the value of x this is the final answer of this equation.